Alrighty, hello guys! Welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually working on the massive submarine. As you guys can see, we've actually got the hull of it completely finished, we've added the fins on the back, and we've also added a double thick hull on the inside as well. So, on the inside inside is where all of our stuff is going to be, on the outside is essentially a huge ballast tank, in fact, I might actually split this into a bunch of different ballast tanks, and then on the outside is obviously the outside. Now, I'm thinking the outside is a little bit too boring for us right now, so I'm going to go ahead and modify it a little bit to make the top bit a little bit more flat, and the side a little bit more textured. So, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, so just to show you guys what I'm actually going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and delete four there, we're going to delete four here, and we're going to delete four there. We're then going to go ahead and grab this guy and send it up. We're then going to go ahead and delete another four, another four, and another four, and we're going to do this as well. That then means we're going to have to delete all the way backwards, and we're going to have to fill it in on the sides as well, and on the top, and that should be great. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll be back with you guys very soon. And there we go. Okay, so I've opened it all up, and this is the back side. We're going to go ahead and do this, and we'll go ahead and do this as well. And then essentially, we're going to go from there all the way to the other end. Here we go. Uh, and try and fix all of that in. We're then going to go ahead and do this guy also, because it needs doing. And this is going to give us like a really nice shape for the top end. And hopefully that will allow the missiles to go out a little bit easier, because we've got more room for them to go out of. Now if we spawn this in, let's have a little look and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, definitely a lot better. I like that. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure how I want the top of this to actually look, but I think I want it to look a little bit different to this. So we're going to go ahead and actually add a, um, a conning tower to this, because I think it'll be kind of cool to do so. So let's go ahead and start off with this on the floor. I know this is a really, really weird way of starting it, but that is how I want to start it. And we're going to go ahead and build it all the way out to there. I'm then going to go ahead and do this guy as well, because I can, and I'm going to go ahead and shove this guy right in the center. There we go, very nice. From there, we're going to go ahead and grab these guys, which is going to send it up and a little bit higher, which is always good, so there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and attach all those guys together as well. So there's one, and there's two, and that is looking fantastic. From there, we're going to go ahead and put this guy on the side. I'm going to go ahead and shove this guy onto there, and the side is going to be flat, at least for a little bit. There we go, that actually doesn't look too terrible, kind of like it. We're then going to go ahead and send this guy across to here to send it a little bit bigger. And we're going to go ahead and do this guy down the side. There we go. Honestly, that does actually seem to fit it, and I kind of like it. Uh, from there, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do or what the back end's going to look like. But what I'm thinking is we actually extend it backwards a little bit further. We then grab one of these guys, and essentially, we flatten it off. Or we, we send it backwards like this. But I think that's a little bit too short, so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger by using these guys and going backwards like this. Okay, here we go. Uh, kind of like, kind of like that, there we go. So we delete that guy right there and that guy right there and that looks awesome. We're then gonna have to do this to here and we're gonna have to sort these guys out in order for this bit to work. So send this all the way to there, good. Fix this in, fix the other side in as well and then we'll have a bit of a conning tower, which is awesome, because that's what I wanted. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. So put that right there, put that right there, that right there, that right there, that right there. Attach all these guys together right here and on the back. And there we go. Conning tower size. I think it looks okay. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is see if we can fit this in. Now, I'm not entirely sure it is going to fit because I, I haven't worked it out. But let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, it doesn't quite work. It doesn't actually quite fit, which is kind of annoying. But let's go ahead and whack this on here anyway. And uh, we can get that to work. I'm sure it'll be okay. So go ahead and put that guy right there like so. Go ahead and send this guy down the side, just like this. And then we'll do it backwards, and that should look and work really, really well. Here we go, flip it over, do this. Go ahead and do this guy as well. There we go. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and box this off. There we go. Nice. From there, we can just go ahead and grab another one of these. Send it all the way to the front. Do this guy on the back end of there, just like this. And seal it all together. There we go. Nice. Okay, that actually doesn't look too terrible. Okay, let's go ahead and spawn it in and see what it actually looks like. Yes, that doesn't look too bad whatsoever. I actually don't mind that at all. Now, obviously it won't really be in this color, so let's go ahead and jump on and save it in a different color and see what that looks like. So, probably dark gray is what we're going to go with, and we're also going to have a bunch of, like, random lines that are slightly different color 
uh, going around it too. So we'll do something sort of like this uh, going around and we'll do it over and over and over again and hopefully it'll look cool. All right, so this is currently where we're at, and uh, obviously it is a little bit too stripey for us right now. We will change that slightly, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it sort of as it is uh, for right now. I'm going to go ahead and do this around the edge right there, and that looks pretty good to me. Now what I want to do is actually change that color into something slightly different, and that'll be great. So make it a little bit darker as shown right here. Is that darker or is this darker? I think this is darker. There we go. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and do this. So if we change all of those to that, yes, it is more like it. Go ahead and spawn it in and see what that looks like. Okay, actually pretty good. Yes. But we are missing bits of it at the back. So let's go ahead and do that bit too. Let's do this. Here we go. From there all the way down. Uh, and essentially what I'm doing is I'm going one behind this and essentially drawing it on all the way down there. Now, there are bits that I'm missing by accident. But I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. So if I can grab this, send it down. There we go. And if I can find it, we need to do one there as well. I believe it's here. So let's do this. There we go. And probably one further backwards too. Uh, which is just behind this. So it's level with that. There we go. And honestly, that should be it. But I could be wrong. I think that's right. I think that is it. I don't know whether to go up this either. Because um, if I do go up these, it might be a little bit more strange. Uh, but I suppose it would work, so we could do it. There we go. Spawn it in again. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that actually looks pretty cool. It looks really cool. I need to paint that a little bit right there, but everything else seems to have been hit and um, looks good. Okay, so what do we actually need to do now? I'm thinking we actually go back into this and we do something with like some holes or something right there because I think that'll look cool. And then I think we go back to the back and we actually add a propeller on the rear as well. I think that just makes sense to do, so let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and jump straight in and yeah, I want to figure this out. So how much of a gap have we left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we've left nine of a gap. Uh, let's go to the center of that and delete three and essentially do that all the way backwards. We're going to go at the center of each of these and delete three on every single one. All right, so I added the holes to the side and I've actually filled them with uh, some windows, which seems a little bit strange. Uh, but at the same time, I actually don't mind that. It won't be obviously windows to the inside, um, but it's sort of decoration like holes to the inside of the hole. Uh, I don't really know why I would do that, but I kind of like the idea of it. So we're going to go ahead and keep those. Um, I might actually, I don't know, take some off and have one and then miss one, 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 one, miss one, one, miss one, one. I think that actually might be a little bit better, but um, for now we'll leave it like this. Let's go ahead and add a bit of a uh, propeller to this and see what it looks like afterwards. Alright, so this is something that I don't really do, ever. Uh, it's actually using a giant propeller, so we're going to go ahead and try and use one of these. Just going to go ahead and smack it on the back and see what it looks like once it's on there. Uh, I don't think it's going to look terrible, but um, it's a little bit too far out of the water at the minute. But that's okay. That's not too bad. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go around the inside and delete everything leading up the sides, at both the front and the back, uh, where we've already put in a wall. As you guys can see, there's a wall right here, and this is the inside of the submarine. So on the outside, we're going to go ahead and put in some bulkheads in order to separate the tanks at least just a little bit. Uh, I'm also going to have to get rid of all these, which is kind of annoying, but there you go. And uh, once we've done it, everything should be fine. There we go. So we got a bulkhead in the front. So the front of the submarine is separate to the bit right here. And then the bit at the back is going to be separate as well. As we build things into the submarine, we will, of course, have more bulkheads so that we don't sink whenever we are shot. So uh, that should be pretty good. So let's go ahead and delete these two as well. Go ahead and put this in. Uh, all the way up there, there we go, and do this all the way going sideways, and there we go. Very nice. And now I'm going to do the same thing at the rear, because again, it makes sense to do so. So I'm going to delete these all the way down, and uh, replace it with a wall. And there we go, I did it. Let's go ahead and add a tiny bit more weight to the bottom, just to make it a little bit more, uh, uh, to make it sit a little bit further down in the water. Here we go, send it all the way backwards. And we're going to add this much weight. There we go. Leave the gap in the middle because I don't think we need that much. Um, but let's see how low this sits now. That's not too bad, but I think it needs to sit a little bit lower. And then finally, all I want to do is go to the top of this and essentially just design something that will sit uh, essentially directly on top of it. So go ahead and do this. There we go. Over this guy, which I think will be fine. There we go. Go ahead and whack this guy on the top of there like so. 
Build this bit into the center. There we go. And do that bit right there. Delete that guy right in the center. And do this. There we go. From there, we can build this guy forwards to there. Go ahead and do the same with this guy. There we go. And do the rest of it as well. So attach these guys on like so. Go ahead and do this guy as well. And also the guy on the bottom. Bosh. There we go. Good. Okay, finally, do this all the way across to there. Do the bottom side as well, because we need to, all the way forwards. And go ahead and fix these guys in at the back, if we can as well. So we just need to grab one of these, do this. Go ahead and do one of these as well. There we go. And do the front bit too, because, again, we can need to. So there's one, and there's two. Nice. Okay, I actually like that being up there, so we'll keep it. Um, that's really cool. And there we go. That is probably all I really want to add today, but uh, actually no, I've got one more thing that I want to add. One more thing. Okay, here it is. So this is going to be our little side uh, fin, which is going to be kind of cool. Let's go ahead and drag this forwards just a little bit and uh, go from there. So I think the easiest way or the best way of doing this is just to add one of these to the front and do this going sideways. There we go. And essentially leaving it out actually quite big. There we go. Probably just like this, and doing this backwards. There we go. Okay, is that too wide? That might be a little bit too wide. Uh, go ahead and delete a few of these. There we go, and make it go backwards. But in order to go backwards, we need some rudders or some control surfaces so it doesn't look so ugly. All right, here we go. Oh, and also so that it works too. That's another option. <laughs> That's another thing. All right, there we go. Put that right there, and do this. Uh, although I actually do it with one of these instead. There we go. And that's pretty cool. So we can leave it like that, essentially. Uh, I am going to go ahead and whack this guy on the front, though, so it does look normal. And I'm happy with it. Good. All right, so this is it in its current state. Obviously, the propeller isn't actually in the water yet, so we need to weigh it down a little bit more. It does actually look pretty cool. I like these windows, but we might go ahead and limit it to uh, one, then not one, then one, then not one kind of thing. Uh, that might change eventually as well. We also need to add radar, sonar, and uh, some other stuff as well. Uh, we need to add the rocket launch points, which will be on the back of this thing. And we need to add probably a nuclear reactor if we go that route. We might actually go diesel, but uh, I think a nuclear reactor will, will actually fit this one. If we can fit it in at least. So that would be pretty cool. We then need to add some ballast pumps. We need to add some more bulkheads and some sleeping quarters and stuff like that. As well as a control room and other stuff. Um, and that should be pretty cool. I don't know whether I'm going to add torpedoes to this one. I don't think I am. Uh, I think it's just going to be a missile submarine. But anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.